So we have some good news, but the fourth stimulus checks that you want to know. The American Rescue Plan Act authorized payments of $1,400 per adult and $1,400 per dependent. Biden signed the act into law at the end of March, and the vast majority of Americans have already received the full amount of stimulus money due from the American Rescue Plan Act. But now, people who had a baby or otherwise added a new dependent may not have received all the money that they were supposed to get this year. The problem is the IRS determined how many dependents were entitled to the $1,400 payments by reviewing past tax returns. And if you added a dependent only in 2021, then this information would have not been available to the IRS when your payment was calculated. If you missed out on a payment for any new dependents that you added in 2021, you can claim $1,400 per dependent in 2022. Video found instead of adding $200 billion to the deficit, it will add $3 trillion to the deficit. But Senator, the White House says that, that, that's fake because if the programs are extended, they'll find ways to pay for them. Well, give me a plan to pay for them then. Uh, President Biden said the bill was fully, fully paid for. Vice President Harris said it was paid for. Schumer, Pelosi, Secretary of Treasury Yellen. The CBO says it's not paid for. It's $3 trillion of deficit spending. It's not $1.75 trillion over 10 years. It's $4.9 trillion. What does this mean? The House should revote. The vote in the House was based on a fraud. This bill doesn't cost $1.75 trillion. It cost almost $5 trillion. It doesn't add $300 billion to the deficit. It adds $3, $3 trillion. There is not a plan to pay for it. If there is, I missed it. So give it to me. Give it to the American people. Before we vote in the Senate, show me how you pay for this bill. And you know why I wrote a letter to CBO? Because Joe Manchin came to me and he said, I think this bill is full of gimmicks, that these programs won't go away, Lindsay. And if you score them from 10 years, I think the bill will double. Well, it didn't double. It was almost two and a half times. So I, I hope that this will be a showstopper for Bill Back Better. But in 2017, President Trump and all Senate Republicans voted for the, the tax cuts then that added $2 right. trillion dollars to the economy. And in fact, you talk about budget gimmicks. It used the same budget gimmick there, for instance, saying that individual tax cuts were going to end in 2025. Uh, here's White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki on that. The plan they proposed and passed for and passed into law, the 2017 tax cuts were $2 trillion, which were not paid for in any way, shape or form. That didn't seem to upset them at all. Senator, does she have a point? Oh, no, not really. I like giving money back to the taxpayer. I don't like spending more money than we did in World War II, uh, and that's what we're doing right now. This bill, Build Back Better, is $5 trillion. It's not $1.75. It will add $3 trillion to the deficit. When they tell you the bill is paid for, they're lying. Now, you will simply have to claim the money by filing a tax return, and the payments that were sent out were in advance on a tax credit. So the tax credit should be available to you when you file your 1040 form with the IRS. The IRS will also begin accepting tax returns in late January of 2022. Now the sooner you file your return, the faster you can get the $1400 checks that you are owed. So be sure to claim your $1400 missing stimulus payment folks. And you do need to meet the requirements for the stimulus check under the American Rescue Plan Act. This includes falling within the income limits and the full payment is available to single file taxpayers with income under $75,000 and married joint filers with an income under $150,000. Payments do phase out once the income exceeds those thresholds and single filers with an income above $80,000 or married joint filers with an income above $160,000 are not eligible. But you should make certain to claim this money if you're entitled to it, even if you don't normally file a tax return, as it can help you offset some of the economic damage from the crisis. But the good news is that Joe Manchin is facing mounting pressure from colleagues to back a federal paid family leave and medical plan that's backed by Democrats as the party seeks to finish work on a $2 trillion spending bill. Now, Joe Manchin has supported but has given pushback in recent months against efforts by his colleagues to advance a proposal for a universal paid leave program in a Democratic-only bill that his party aims to pass through Congress without GOP support, insisting it should be done on a bipartisan basis. But a number of Democrats, particularly those who have struggled to find support for similar proposals and don't want to miss this opportunity, are not giving up and are putting the pressure on. Under the current plan being discussed by Democrats, four weeks of paid leave, medical leave would also be provided to full-time and part-time workers in both the private and public sector. 
And advocacy groups have praised the proposed program, saying it could be transformative for millions of American workers who don't have access to paid leave. Now, Democrats have previously wanted to provide up to 12 weeks of paid family and medical leave in their massive bill, but it was a scaled down version to only four weeks and then later mixed up from the entire plan. The party hopes to pass the bill in Congress using reconciliation, and that will allow them to bypass any GOP filibuster in the evenly split Senate. But that means Democrats would need the support of all the members in the upper chamber to approve the measure. Thank you again for watching, everybody. I truly appreciate everyone's amazing support. If you have any more questions about the Fort Stimulus checks, leave them in the comments below. Barbara Lee talked about what it means across the bay, and Jared Hoffman in terms of how we're doing this in a green way. And um, of course, Mark Desaune was with us then, but they, our Bay Area members have all been a part of that. I'm taking a little time because this has taken some time, and there's a lot to, um, of credit to attribute. Uh, the Salesforce Trans Center is a testament to the truth that this is one of the most important public dollars that we can spend because what does it do? It, it builds infrastructure which improves the quality of life. More people are taking public transportation, clean air for our children, less time in cars for their families, improves the quality of life, it promotes commerce in every possible way, whether moving really people to work to and from, but also product and the rest, writ large, the infrastructure, children to school, all of it about family and doing so with good pay union jobs. in the legislation, delivering a better quality of life, I said, advancing equity, this being done in a new, fresh way, not like a road going through a neighborhood and dividing the community of interest, but instead breaking down all of those barriers to community common interest, and to do so in a way, in a way that is environment, promotes environmental justice and again, connecting our community. So while this is this structure here, what is implied by it in the community and the rest is just remarkable transformational and really historic. That's why when the COVID pandemic hit, we insisted in the CARES Act uh, that we, and, and then following that, when President Biden became president in the American Rescue Package, that we would keep our transit systems running, uh, that we would save transit operators' jobs in doing so, uh, that we would secure transportation vital for essential workers.